Bull or bear? Man, I got a good spin on that one. And she comes up a bull. Good morning, folks. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Got the uh, live LBTS cam up here. Uh, looks like there's some people out there snorkeling today. 84 degrees and it's like a little bit after 10 o'clock. We are in the dog days of summer again, folks. Uh, but still, uh, where would you rather be in the summer? I'd rather be on the beach. The water temperature is absolutely beautiful. You can sit out here on a sandbar up to your neck and uh, water temperature that's uh, what? Uh, 78 degrees or something like that. Well, anyways, I'm not here to talk about beach reports, wind, or anything else like that. And uh, if you're wondering what that background noise is, it's the lawn guys uh, next door with their uh, with their blowers, <laughs> leaf blowers. I got to tell you, I love two-stroke motors, but I detest them. I can't stand anything that runs a two-stroke for lawn equipment. So <laughs> just noisy. Uh, if there's any good application for battery power, lawn equipment would be it for sure, especially leaf blowers. Give me a break. Oh, anyways, here, I got my rant out of the way here about leaf blowers. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> let's talk about markets. Uh, give me one second here and move along. Close that out a little bit, and uh, let's take a look at the quote of the day. Uh, Harry Brown actually uh, uh, supported Harry Brown as a libertarian candidate way back when. Um, very, very smart dude. Uh, I mean... I, I got to tell you, uh, esoteric as far as uh, you know, Libertarian Party is kind of not one of the two mainstream parties. And trust me, folks, the uh, the biggest problem we got in this country is a two-party system. We need more parties in there. But uh, I digress. Uh, Harry Brown says, for those looking for security, be forewarned that there's nothing more insecure than a political promise. Uh, spot on. Again, if this man had won an election, he had a snowball's chance in hell of doing it. But if he had won the election, I guarantee you we'd be in a much better place right now. Somehow, some way, someone would have picked up the uh, uh, where he left off because, uh, again, very intelligent man. If you don't know much about him, I recommend you read a little bit about it. Good history, uh, uh, recent history, but uh, you don't read a lot about people that are running into third parties for uh, government here. Uh, let's take a look at markets up across the board. Platinum really took a giant crap this last week. You know, uh, we were up over 1,100. She she boondoggled down, monkey hammered down to uh, uh, $996, sub $1,000. Uh, but she steadied out. Seems to be moving its way back upward. Uh, gold and silver kind of ahead of platinum a little bit on that. I was surprised to see. Uh, platinum a laggard. Uh, usually platinum has kind of been a tell lately, you know, moving up or down before gold does and silver does. But uh, uh, this week, uh, uh, platinum kind of held on to its own. Uh, gold and silver had dropped down a little bit, seemed to be steadying out, seemed to be going up. We were, what, 950, 1953 here is a low overnight, I think, and 2330 in the silver. But we were, what, down uh, 2299 or 2286 at some point there for a little while in silver. Gold taking the big, biggest trashing, well, besides platinum. But uh, <clears throat> you know, that's a whole different story. I'm trying to refrain from talking about the crooked Crimex markets. But there is good news, folks. Um, I woke up to a uh, really cool uh, good newsletter by uh, uh, Butler Research, Ted Butler, today, uh, discussing that he thinks it's a good possibility we're going to see some big changes and turnarounds here. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But uh, uh, worthwhile news. And it also explains why, why silver didn't get the thorough trashing that we were expecting from you know, $26 and change down to, uh, back down to 19. Uh, there seemed to be a lot of resistance. I mean, we haven't seen that in the past. Usually when silver took a dump, uh, it was, uh, you know, fairly quickly uh, to some degree. Uh, but uh, they salami sliced it. They tried to monkey hammer it, or, or I don't try to, maybe not. Uh, maybe that's why it's not gone down that much. Maybe uh, there's something different going on. But we'll get into that in a moment. I think you're going to find that real interesting. Uh, markets are looking good right now as far as on the upside, uh, but again, remember, you know, you, you, you never underestimate these crooks, you know. We're hoping that uh, there's going to be a big change and turnaround, and uh, from the data, again, that Ted Butler's been discussing, I think that might be the case. All right, some of you are probably looking, what, did Brian put up the SD bullion page by accident? No, he did not. Uh, Brian, uh, <laughs> here's my advertising, uh, so, so get over it real quick. <laughs> Uh, I advertise to be SD Bullion, JM Bullion, Atmex Bullion. They seem to be the big 800-pound gorillas out there when it comes to pricing gold and silver products. And I mostly put up SD Bullion because I respect them. I think they're a great company. And if you want to be competitive and you want to beat someone, who do you want to beat? You want to beat good, respectable people. So I use them as an example of prices that I can beat. Uh, also, I'll beat the locals down here. So if you live in South Florida, anywhere 
uh, near Broward County. Uh, we're open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays, and we advertise, again, to beat the locals down here as well as the big online gorillas. Uh, so, again, living in South Florida, come by and see us. Anywhere from a dollar's worth to millions of dollars worth of gold and silver we sell. And if you don't live in South Florida and you can't find yourself a good local dealer, instead of going to Atmex, SD, and J and Bullion, if you're buying more than 50 ounces of gold and 1,500 ounces of silver, I'll beat their prices too. All right, anyways, you can catch me at the end of the video and uh, my address and uh, phone number and all that good stuff as well. But uh, what are the good deals out there? Well, it looks like SD is running a special on one ounce gold bars. And uh, <clears throat> let me just kind of refresh that right there, make sure they're still running that special. And as again, I advertise to beat these guys. So uh, uh, we will beat their premium on this. And that's not a bad premium. I think that, hey, let me take a look and see what the premium actually is. Uh, 1981.11, uh, let's do this. $230.93 minus 1,981.11. Equals. It's minus $1,750.18. A little and 18 slow cents. on the uptake. I think I asked the wrong question. Sorry, I thought I would have been quicker doing it in my head, folks. All right, you'll try this one more time. 1,981.11 subtract 2,030.93 equals. The answer is negative 49.82. Negative 49, I still did it wrong, but $50, it seems to be about a $50 premium on gold bars right there. <clears throat> and uh, I got it backwards last time. Ah, uh, boy, yeah, and I'm doing the math for you folks. To <laughs> Trust me, I have a calculator when I'm doing business. Uh, one ounce, uh, I don't use Siri, that's for sure. Uh, one ounce gold bars, we do have a special on them right now. If you watch this video and you're listening to this video and you come into our store, uh, we, we'll do some one ounce gold bars while they're running their special and we'll match their price. Uh, meanwhile, it's kind of bars of our choice as well for one ounces. Uh, Valcombis are still a good deal out there. I think they got them for spot plus, what was it, $82 or something like that. Let me see if I can get this one right. 206032. 2060.32 subtract 1980.24. The answer is 80.08. .08. Okay, about spot plus 80 bucks. That's still reasonable. We, we, again, we can beat their prices, beat or match them on that, uh, Valcombis as well. Uh, but where was I going to go with this as well? You know, you, you guys know that I advertise to beat Atmax, SDJ, and the uh, local guys. But really, my whole point is, is that uh, uh, I was just looking at premiums in gold. Bars, not so much higher, but the premiums on all the sovereign products, gold coins, for example, like U.S. Mint, Gold Eagles. Gold Eagles are just stupid. They're like a spot plus 150 bucks. Wouldn't recommend them right now. I think there's some better deals out there. Uh, let me just take a look and see uh, where they're getting their prices, where they're at. Remember, as low as means uh, if you're buying 100 plus more. And as you know, if you're buying any of these quantities, I will beat their prices here. Uh, 2120, let's see what random dates are. I think they got random uh, 2021s, random years. Uh, there we go. Oh, gosh. One ounce. Oh, no, those are proofs. I'm sorry. Proofs are absolutely stupid price. Uh, twenty one ninety nine. You know, <clears throat> uh, I don't think twenty one twenty, twenty one ninety nine. There we go. Let's say twenty one twenty and see what the premium is right now. I think it's one hundred and fifty something dollars. Two thousand one hundred and twenty one point six nine subtract one thousand nine hundred eighty one point seven nine equals. That would be one hundred thirty nine point nine. $140 premium. Looks like they backed off a little bit. Uh, actually, I used the, the higher price right there, the lower price. So, so that's for 100 or more. So I think they're like at, uh, here, let's check their smaller quantity. One second. 2,136.56 subtract 1,983.06. Oop, lost that. 2,136.56 subtract 1,983.06 equals. Hmm. It's 153.5. Siri is really slow. So in smaller quantities, about 153. Larger quantities, that's not a big break to a $3 break for 100 plus more versus buying one. Uh, so about 153 bucks on gold uh, uh, eagles. Um, that's too much. Uh, I recommend that if you're buying uh, gold, you probably, if you got, 
If you're going to buy Sovereign products, I still think bars are the best deal at spot plus 80. And again, if you mention the deal that they're running, we'll match that at spot plus 50 if you're coming into our store while they have it on, on sale. Uh, again, we advertise to beat or match their prices. <clears throat> and the locals too. Uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, other products here, gold bars, gold, I don't look at their site so I can't maneuver around uh, so that fast here. Let's take a look, Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, let's see what, what they're getting for one ounce gold, maple leaves, and uh, because they're obviously, I think they're going to be definitely cheaper than, uh, uh, there's random years right there, we'll take a look at that, the same price as those. Uh, so small quantities, 2077, let's just round these numbers out instead of using pennies, maybe cereal be a little faster. Ready? 2,077 subtract 1,982. Equals. The answer is 95. Wow, that is slow, man. I'm not even going to use this. Sorry, I should have brought a calculator. So 95 bucks over on uh, uh, Canadian Maple Leafs versus $150, uh, even in larger quantities for Gold Eagles. Uh, folks, there's something wrong with the U.S. Mint. They are not producing product at all because if they were, the premiums wouldn't be so stupid high. You know, and I'm not, I, don't, I don't in any way believe that there's a gold shortage out there. There's always available gold out there at certain prices. Uh, I think the only reason that we're seeing uh, stupid high prices for gold eagles is because the U.S. Mint has restricted delivery of them substantially. Um, you know, again, Forty dollars more, at least what fifty bucks, fifty-five dollars more than uh, uh, gold maple leaves. Come on, man. <laughs> there's no excuse for that. There's no reason for that other than just now. There's a lot of different thoughts out there why the U.S. Mint is not producing gold and silver eagles, but uh, 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 you know, <clears throat> it's just ridiculous. The premiums are ridiculous, and it probably has nothing uh, to do with. Uh, anything but them just reducing uh, um, the manufacturer and they're not really putting uh, uh, gold eagles out there. Uh, same thing with silver eagles. That's why silver eagles, I mean, you want to see something even stupider, just take a look at silver eagles. Look at the prices on these damn things. Definitely uh, overpriced. Now, if you come into my store and you try to buy silver eagles from us, the first thing I do is I, we try to talk you out of them because take a look at this. Even if you buy them at 1500 at a time, $41 for Silver Eagles? Are you kidding me? That's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, uh, that's <laughs> uh, Here, let's just do the uh, spread here. for Ready? Uh, oh, I said I wasn't going to do this again. Let's hope the series is a little bit faster. But uh, uh, let's see, what is, what is our quantity price? Ready? Forty-one seventy. all right? Okay. Yeah, there we go. 41.7 subtract 23.91 equals... It's seventeen point seven nine. Holy crap! The seven eighteen dollar premium. If you're buying fifteen hundred dollars or more, only a fool would buy silver eagles in this environment. Only a fool would. But I'm just, I can't believe that the premiums this high. There must be a lot of fools out there buying the limited quantities that there are because that's just plain stupid. There's no advantage to paying seventeen bucks over. None, 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 zero, zero, zero. All right, so anybody buying out their Silver Eagles, it's just plain dumb. Sorry, going to get a lot of negative comments on that, but uh, I'd love to debate anyone on that, too. Anyone that want to debate me, uh, uh, YouTuber, whoever, uh, on that subject, Silver Eagles are absolutely ridiculously priced. I think 90% has come down a little bit. Let's see where 90 cells are right now. Uh, and again, folks, I'll beat their prices on here. Uh, <clears throat> they've probably got them as cheap as anyone. Uh, 25 times face as low as... Uh, that's absolutely crazy here, $100, let's see what $1,000, uh, 25 times. Look, uh, there's really no great discount there from 10 to uh, that right there. So they're selling bags at $25,000 a bag. Uh, give me one second, I'll tell you what bags melt for right now and how much over that is. 23.86 times 715 equals? The answer is 17,059.9. So a bag melts for 17,000 folks. They're getting 25, six for them. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine thousand dollar premium. Absolutely not worth it. Stay away from that stuff for sure. What are the best deals out there? And again, I'll, I'll beat their prices that I'm showing you right here. Uh, respectable company, SD Bullion is. Uh, here, one ounce bars. Where are one ounce rounds? I don't want bars. I want rounds here because that's they're more popular. Silver rounds. There we go. <clears throat> Stay away from fractional silver rounds unless you want one or you want to buy them for a gift. Uh, again, the premiums on those are probably just as stupid. You know, when you're 
it's such a huge, ridiculous premium that you're paying for Silver Eagles, and there's such a huge, ridiculous premium that you're paying for uh, uh, 90 percent. Uh, you know, and who is out there buying it? I don't know, but whoever is bidding up 90 and uh, Silver Eagles to those levels, they're they're, they're stupid. They're plain stupid. Uh, there's no advantage to buying those products out there, okay? Unless it's, uh, uh, you know, the only thing I can think out there is maybe it's uh, someone trying to uh, fill silver positions. Maybe it's a big entity out there that doesn't trust any other type of, so I don't know. I, I can't explain why these premiums are absolutely ridiculous. I can tell it's just happening pretty much in the U.S. products only. You know, uh, what's the premium on, uh, 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 you know, if you're buying 1,500 ounces or more, they're getting, what, $27.14? I'll beat that price. Let me just do the math here. 27.14 subtract 23.83 equals? The answer is 3.31. Three dollars and 31 cents if you're buying larger quantities. Again, I'll beat Atmex prices, SDs, and JM Bullion's prices for uh, one ounce rounds and all these products. Uh, but even one ounces are a little uh, pricey. If you want to get into a better deal, get into uh, uh, 10 ounce and 100 ounce, or 100 ounce bars. Uh, take a look at the price point for these. Very, very reasonable, all right? Uh, let's use their smaller quantity, 26.37, and see what the premium is there. 26.37 subtract 23.89 equals? That would be 2.48. $2.48 over for 100 ounce bars versus a bag of 90, which is, oh my, what is the premium on the bag of 90? 17, 6, um, it's six or seven bucks over uh, melt for that, at least, I think, on 90%. I'd have to do the math, but definitely not worth it. 100-ounce bars are the best deal out there. Next to 100-ounce bars, I'd say the next uh, uh, sweetest deal is going to be kilo bars. And kilos are uh, reasonably priced as well. They're probably in that 3 to $4 range. Uh, again, we'll beat Atmex, SD, and J and Bullion on those prices as well. Uh, let's take a look at platinum, because I don't look at platinum very often, but... Uh, certainly the best deals out there in platinum would be the one ounce bars and uh, I suspect they're probably in the, well let's see what they're getting for them. I'm going to use Valcombi. They're more common and more reasonably priced as far as that stuff goes. Less than 10 ounces. Uh, let's use a thousand and seventy three. Just round that up a little bit and give me one second. One thousand seventy three subtract one thousand twelve point eight eight. That would be 60.12. Not bad at all. $60 premium for uh, platinum bars right now. <clears throat> so uh, I think platinum's a really good deal at these prices as well, folks. Well, let's move into some different stuff. I told you I had some interesting news from uh, Butler, Ted Butler's uh, newsletter this morning, and I'm going to kind of share a little bit of that with you as well. Uh, Mr. Butler, uh, and, and I'm sure he doesn't mind me sharing this with you as well, because this is going to get out on the internet pretty quick here, the interweb. Uh, the uh, short positions, uh, you know, the commercial shorts have tr traditionally been the ones to pound or monkey hammer the price of silver down substantially. They've done it for, you know, four decades plus, you know, 40 years plus. They've never been called out for it. Uh, Mr. Butler uh, has been probably in the forefront, the leading person out there, just sending letters to the CFTC, sending letters to his congressmen. Um, <clears throat> And I think there's a good possibility that, uh, you know, and alerting folks like myself and me alerting folks like you and all of us out there in Twitter land and Facebook land and YouTube land discussing this blatant manipulation, the words out, uh, <clears throat> but they could never admit that, you know, the CFTC could never uh, have CME Group admit it because there'd be big lawsuits behind that. The CFTC couldn't even admit that this was happening, even if they were fixing it behind the scenes. Mr. Butler believes that the silver markets are being fixed behind the scenes. He says this is an evidence of the, the decrease in the large short positions, which it's data, folks. This is in, you know, he, he, he started taking a look over the last year since he started writing these letters and the congressmen that he wrote wrote letters to the CFTC. <clears throat> if you think about it, they can't openly come out and say, hey, yeah, it's corrupt, there's a big issue, uh, and we're going to fix it. Uh, because, again, that would open a lot of litigation out there, a huge amount of litigation. But Mr. Butler believes that the CFTC, and I've got my fingers crossed, uh, has been uh, behind the scenes getting these big commercial short position, uh, positions reduced dramatically. Uh, Mr. Butler points out here, and if you adjust the current short position, the four larger shorts for the presence of a big managed short, uh, the commercial only com uh, component of the concentrated short position is only 27,500 contracts. 
an astounding 37,762, uh, 7, less than half of what it had been on February 2nd, 2021, and down by nearly a third from where it was when he wrote the commissioners a year ago. So over the course of time, it's hard to see up close, over the course of time, these short positions have been reduced substantially, again, less than half and a third since uh, a year ago. Uh, and could it be a result of uh, Ted Butler's writing and us constantly talking about this and bringing it up in public and the use of social media to bring this up as well? Um, I think so, folks. It might be a turning point. Let's see what happens. You know, uh, if, if they really turn around and destroy this silver market and knock it back down to that $20 mark, $19 mark, uh, we know that uh, nothing much has changed. But there's been some big things going on in the background. And Ted Butler also talks about the lack of, you know, the, the big four commercials. Now it's three commercials in a big managed money position. Now this gets into some technical stuff, which I'm not going to explain. And it gets you know, hard for me to wrap my brain around it as well. But there, you, can, you can take his word for it that uh, there seems to be some big changes uh, behind the scenes. Uh, and Ted points out the bottom line on all this is an undeniable, quite remarkable drop in the concentrated short positions of the four largest commercial shorts in comic silver futures, starting and continuing precisely from the last two times he petitioned the CFTC uh, over the years. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this may be it, folks. This may be if we don't see another massive slam down like we have. Remember, we're getting so used to them, we know what they look like. And we haven't really. We've seen a 26 to, to $23 reduction here in short position, but they haven't added a you know, larger amount of shorts. In fact, they've been reducing the short positions more and more. Uh, this that recent slam down from 26 again to 23 has been quite tepid uh, compared to past slam downs. So maybe there's something big changing in the air. And when that happens, you're going to be glad you loaded up at these prices and lower folks because, you know, it's off. It's off to the moon. Uh, and I've always said, the timing, trying to figure out when this is going to happen, uh, has been really tough. Uh, you think it's going to happen, and all of a sudden they hit those uh, short positions again. But you know, something's different. There's something different in the air going on here, and I think that uh, we may see much higher prices. All right, that's uh, uh, what I want to discuss mostly with you. I'm going to get into uh, a little bit of news here because I haven't talked about news. I'm going to just give you my my three second opinion on all this stuff. <laughs> Because uh, I was talking about doing political stuff, and I really don't want to, but, you know, it all ties into the price of gold and silver. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to kind of keep you to a sentence or a couple words. All right. Told you so. <laughs> That's all I need to say on that. Told you so, told you so, told you so. When you start sending uh, uh, technology like that and, and big money into one of the most corrupt countries uh, in, in this country right here, one of the most corrupt countries in Eastern Europe uh, that uh, our president and his son was actually tied in with. I wonder if all the evidence has been, been destroyed already. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right, I'm jumping down rabbit holes. Uh, so I told you so, I told you so, but we all told him so, right? Uh, U.S. manufacturing uh, survey signals uh, renewed deterioration of business con conditions in May order price plunge. Um, you know, I don't know what to think of a lot of this data. I think some of this, I <laughs> In fact, I think a lot of the data that we hear, you know, the uh, unemployment figures and stuff like that are fudged and messed with and all that stuff. Uh, I, I, you can't trust it completely. Uh, so how can you trust U.S. manufacturing data? Uh, and if it does say it's going down, it's probably a lot worse than what they're indicating here. Uh, but no less may order prices plunge. I can tell you, I'm living in South Florida, folks. It is just quiet. Most all the businesses around here, uh, again, we live in a really, you know, Florida has a good business uh, environment compared to most of all the states out there. Uh, we really do. Uh, we've done well, especially after the Critter 19 uh, uh, fiasco. Uh, we, we, we've rebounded pretty well, and business is pretty well. And I, I tell you, it's still not where it was. It's still, and it seems to be declining, even down here a little bit. Um, no, that's a shame because, uh, anyways, it uh, doesn't surprise me. First, you know, first they came for the, uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Oh, man. They get rid of the wackos first. And they say, well, they don't deserve to be on the air. They don't deserve to be on the Social Security. Uh, and then when they run out of wackos, they move up the ladder. And before you know it, you got guys like uh, uh, Tucker Carlson being kind of yanked off the air. Uh, but again, uh, you know, who watches corporate media news anymore except stupid people? Uh, Meta threatens to, uh, all right, anyway. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> uh, jobless claims are near 18-month highs. Ignore. Ignore soaring layoffs. 
Uh, all of this stuff right here just, you know, ADP reports bigger than expected job gains. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Come on. Uh, all right. Anyways, <laughs> that's just a, a diversion. You know, stuff like this, they get us to fight among. Here's what this is. This, who cares who someone's having sex with? Who cares? As long, you know, in their own as adults, who cares? All right. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't even want to hear about it, quite frankly, you know, any more than I want to hear who my grandparents are, how they're having sex. All right. I don't want to know what you're doing or who you're doing it with. If you're happy doing it, fine. I just don't want to fucking hear it. All right. I'm sick of hearing it, actually. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm cool with it. Uh, but this is really, this kind of news and this kind of stuff is really meant to divide us amongst each other, divide us against each other. You know what I mean? We all have our, 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 our neighbors and our crazy people down the street or, or people that like to, uh, uh, you know, dress in, in, in different things, all right? Uh, and we've always kind of got along. Why is it that all of a sudden there's this great division between us? I'll tell you why, because it's bullshit. It's nonsense. It's, you know, most of us don't really care who someone else is stooking. <laughs> so, uh, we just, again, a lot of us don't want to hear it, but most of us don't care, all right? And uh, the truth of the matter is, this is just uh, a diversion. This just gets your attention. This kind of stuff just takes your attention off of what's really happening. What's really happening is uh, these bastards in D.C. and these uh, 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 big crony corporations have got their hands in your back pockets. They're stealing from you every day, folks. Some way, or shape, or form, they're stealing from you. They're decreasing your net wealth. Uh, they're stealing uh, the morals from your children and from your families, and they're, they're breaking. Trust me, evil frickin' people. And, 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 and while they're doing that, they do their best to get us to fight with each other, okay? That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing between this uh, two-party system. It's just division. While we're fighting against the red guys or the blue guys, or not we, I don't, I don't subscribe to uh, red or blue, but uh, uh, while they're fighting with each other, uh, the, the people they're fighting uh, uh, four have got their hands up their asses, you know, and, and robbing them blind. But anyways, I digress. And what does this got to do with the price of gold, silver, and platinum? Everything. <laughs> you know, because the more they rob the system, the more they destroy the system, the more they got their hand in the cookie jar, uh, eventually that cookie jar is going to break. Uh, the golden goose eventually dies. They've killed the golden goose already, so I think we're going to see the result of that pretty soon. And if you own gold, silver, and platinum, you can pretty much sure, be sure that uh, after 5,000 years, the one thing that's held up uh, against the idiocy of polit politicians and, and powerful corporations, you know. And there's nothing wrong, you know, I got nothing wrong with corporations, but it's these crony corps that are in bed with government that I think can go to hell. Uh, but again, rabbit holes, rabbit holes, I can jump down so many things. When you start to read all this stuff, you realize how much you need to get out of their money and get into real money, which is gold, silver, platinum. Uh, and that's my opinion, of course. All right, let's get into uh, last week's video, which was, uh, <clears throat> Wow, terrible views. <laughs> That's all right. It's easy to answer questions that way, too. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what was the, actually, I forgot what the uh, video title was. Damn, I should know that. Uh, give me one second here. No, 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 no. Come on. Uh, I was going to hit that one right there. I don't even know what the title of my video is. There, gold second uh, best, gosh, right in, my, in front of my face. Gold, second best rate in investment next to real estate. I thought it was an interesting article uh, that I read that I shared with some of you, but apparently the, the topic, and remember, YouTube is all about clickbait titles. Trust me, if you put a wordy title in there, you put a title in there that's a little heady or uh, not clickbaitable, you, you ain't gonna get crap for views, all right? Uh, that's the one downside to this particular form, other than, besides their uh, repression of free speech in some form, you know, some areas. Okay, well anyways, got more rabbit holes, get myself in trouble here. Uh, let's uh, answer a couple questions here if I can. You know, the best time to catch me is on these small view videos. <laughs> Charles Wilson, what's up, Celeste? Uh, yeah, no doubt, he's a puppet of the CIA. There's no doubt in my mind that he's a puppet of the CIA, and NATO is a puppet of the CIA as well, uh, in my opinion. Wilfred Vasquez, uh, yep. Can't argue with that. Monkey hammering lives, Mark Hall. Hope to get to see you soon as well. I've been busy myself, as busy as a one-armed canoeer. How's that? <laughs> Paddle surfer or whatever. Donald Desno, Howard Ruff had nine, uh, maybe uh, nine, eight, 1980. That's when he was. Uh, yep, that's his time period. Uh, maybe you're five or seven, five billion with an Indian chief on it. Uh, it was cool. Um, you know, 
God, it's funny. I'm trying to remember. He did so much promotional stuff. Howard Ruff was definitely an interesting character, and he was pretty much spot on. He t also talked about survival food and all that other thing, you know, all that other stuff as well. Uh, probably one of the first big guys to have gold, silver, and platinum combine it with uh, ammo and uh, survival food. Uh, again, I, it's been so long I forgot. But a friend of my father's actually ended up buying his company, Howard Ruff Company, called Ruffco. Uh, you know, but it goes downhill from there. Maybe I'll talk about that some other day. Mark Gottschall, my attention span is getting shorter as I get older. Yeah, me too. Same old, same old. You know, especially, you know, the problem with precious metals is that you're, if you have a precious metals video you, you're, and, and you're trying to do it on some kind of consistency, and remember I was doing this five days a week for almost two, two years, three years, uh, at some point you're going to suffer some burnout because it's talking about the you're talking about prices every day. I mean, how exciting can that be? I mean, you can talk, you can look at a video and say, uh, uh, "Oh, gold was 700, or gold was uh, 1,200 that day, or it was uh, 1,800 that time, or whatever." But you know, it gets boring for me just talking about uh, uh, gold and silver prices all the time. So I like to mix it up a little bit. Uh, but uh, man, I was, boy, see, my attention span is getting shorter. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Let me move along here. Gary Biggs, uh, hmm, yeah, well, I don't think it's just them. I think it's both parties, actually, that, uh, you know, uh, neocons, warhawks, and uh, morons would support that particular crooked country. Uh, but again, that's what we got running this country, morons, neocons, and warhawks. Um, Andrew McClure says, trouble is you can leverage real estate at 10% with the lowest interest rates and, get, and not get marked to market on your position. Oh, um, well, that's true. I guess you can leverage uh, with 10% down. Basically, uh, you're talking about loans and stuff. I don't know how that's going to work with higher interest rates, but uh, yeah, in the past that's been pretty much true. Uh, real estate up 300% since 2000, gold up 580% and no bad tenants so far. Good for you, Peter Burke. Um, again, a good, a good article that I read that, was, uh, that uh, talked about a poll that was run where they ask the average American, now remember, this is not necessarily correct. It doesn't make real estate the best investment. It doesn't make gold the second best. But more or less, they ask most Americans. You know, they ask Americans across the board what they thought. And Americans in the poll picked real estate first and gold second. And I thought that was interesting that they picked gold as the second best investment. You know, not necessarily true, maybe, uh, either one of those. But uh, I did find it interesting. That's perception of the people that were polled. Uh, Kelvin, Kevin Kilgore, you can't put land in your pocket. That's true. Um, you know, I posted a picture some time ago, you know, uh, of uh, some kilo bars that I had. And uh, um, I brought them home. And trust me, I never bring gold home at all. But uh, uh, I, I brought them home because I had to pick them up from somewhere. And that seldom ever happened. So I picked them up, brought them home. And then uh, I had them next to my two-slice toaster. All right, and I looked. I said, my gosh, you can fit a million dollars worth of gold in a two-slice toaster. And that's true. You really can. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you can transport a million dollars worth of gold, a million dollars very easily with gold, but you can't do it with land, that's for sure. If you had to get out of town, you got to leave the land, unfortunately. Tim Gibson, Platinum, was getting crushed, seems to be on the rebound right now, and uh, good to see you posting, bud. How are you doing? Uh, listen, appreciate it if you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the uh, uh, whatever uh, buttons you can hear. Hit, hit all the damn buttons, including that bell up there. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. Listen, if you ever not find me on uh, this particular format on YouTube, if you don't find me on YouTube someday, it's probably because something I said maybe. I don't know. I hope not. But uh, you may be able to find me here. Uh, I like this format, free speech format. You can also find me here uh, where I've been posting some of my videos. But uh, uh, you can, you know, uh, the one thing about this is I, I don't get a lot of questions out here, so if you really want some stuff answered, hit me up on Twitter. There's my profile uh, because uh, I got the time to do it out there, and uh, I get so few questions out here, so it's easy for me to see them and answer them. And uh, you can also catch me out here on uh, the Reddit, Wall Street Silver. Uh, uh, kudos to you guys out there for uh, uh, what you do. And uh, that's it, folks. I'm going to call it quits. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, if you're looking to buy gold, silver, and platinum, obviously you know where to come. If you live in South Florida, no matter what amount you're buying, from a dollar's worth to millions of dollars worth, we're very competitive. We'll beat the locals and the big guys online. And if you don't live in South Florida and you can't find yourself a good local dealer and you're buying more than 50 ounces of gold and 1,500 ounces of silver, give us a call. We can also ship stuff as well and do deals over the phone. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.